Hello, good to see you again. I am just getting home as usual. <sighs> That's why I always start with a deep sigh. Um, and it was a very, been a good day. And in particular, the message that God, you know, wants me to give is, you know, been actually delivered to me through a friend um, and some really good, um, just kind of questions or, you know, some comments that were made in, in this friend's um, letter. And I think it really speaks to consciousness, how a lot of people might be feeling seeing me make these videos or seeing me where I'm at in my life. And so I really appreciate the gift that he's giving um, in, you know, presenting this consciousness. Um, so I'm just going to present the, um, the heart of it, you know, because I, the, this, this letter was given as a personal letter, but I want to just really speak to the heart of it because I think it speaks to a lot of people's question. Um, the first thing is just, you know, he acknowledges my, my history, which is very much in social services and serving, um, you know, people that are homeless in particular in New Orleans. Um, I did spend a great deal of my life there. And, you know, there's kind of an, an uh, a question here about like, you know, an acknowledgement that I really thrived in that area and, and to maybe explore that again, explore the, those gifts that, that helped me to thrive there. And I do acknowledge, yes, I, I did thrive there and I appreciate that insight. Um, and actually this is something that I will say Jeff and Schlitt even knew about me. They knew that. And this is something I really love about the Church of Union is it does say as God asks and only as God asks. And God did ask that of me for a very long time in my life. And then God started asking something different. And when you understand that God is your creator and God is the source of your joy, you go where God leads. And that that is not only the source of your own joy and your own fulfillment, but that is going to give the greatest gift to the planet as a whole. Because God knows, God knows the best how to use your gifts, how to use um, your being to serve the world. And so it's always safe to go within and talk to God about that and to make a new choice. If, if God's leading you to another place, um, it's safe to go there. And I remember Jeff and Shalia personally um, helping me with this understanding and helping me to see that God was calling me to something different. And lots of people, when I, when I bring that up, sometimes people think I am not a naive person. A lot of people think, because I bring up Jeff and Shalia, that somehow I was brainwashed just because I love them, respect them, and listen to their advice. Um, no, I do love and I do respect them and I do listen to their advice, but it's because I'm a smart individual who has really discerned who I can trust, who is worthy of being trusted and listened to as a guide. And they earned my trust. They continue to earn my trust every single day. I've only witnessed them be kind and loving people. Um, the most kind and loving people I've ever met. The insights they've given me on my life are the richest insights I could possibly receive. And I have a lot to base this on because I've, I've tried out, as I said in other videos, I've tried, you know, every path God has invited me to, to much benefit. And this leads me to the second part of his question, you know, wondering why would I still be, you know, speaking um, so positively and still dedicating myself to this community after a, a rather long period, you know, it's been um, three years now outside of the community. Um, and that's a great question. I have to tell you, it actually, it speaks to the merit of this community. I am a smart person. Believe me, if there wasn't merit to this community, I would have, you know, had to feel my feelings. It would have been an adjustment, but I would have moved on because I would have found something. God would have led me to something more worthwhile, more meaningful, but there truly isn't. 
And I am telling you this as someone who is open to there being something else. There isn't. It's the same as, I know this triggers people, it is the same as the time of Jesus. If you spoke to one of Jesus' disciples and you tried to tell them that there was something more meaningful than spreading the word of Jesus, <laughs> no, you're not going to get very far because uh, Jeff and Shlia have a very similar mission as did Jesus, which is to bring such a shift in consciousness that it is, is earth shattering and that the understanding of who God is and who twin flames are is truly an earth shattering understanding. And I have a personal, deep, long experience of the truth of this. And I will remain dedicated because there's nothing I have found more worth my life than to share the message of love, true love. And that is what twin flames are. And it's not a selfish thing. I'm not pursuing my true love, which love is never selfish. But I'm pursuing not just so I can have a wonderful romance, although, of course, I pursue it for that reason. But it's because twin flames carry an incredibly powerful mission upon this planet to love and serve it and expand consciousness. And I know that together, my twin flame and I are a powerful and meaningful force of good. Because to love yourself... You know, this is what I truly believe Jesus meant when he said, love others as you love yourself. Well, your twin flame is you and loving you being with your whole self, your whole union. That is an incredible amount of self-love. You have healed um, separation, which basically your twin flame reveals to you whether, you know, how deeply you have a consciousness of union or separation because they, they mirror to you your, that relationship with God. So if you're with your twin flame in harmonious union, believe me, you have a powerful relationship with God that they're mirroring to you through that harmony and that beautiful, powerful love that is shared. And then that love is shared with the world. So yes, I know with all my being that the way to most effectively serve the world is to heal to heal all that is separate in my consciousness or you know, believes in that s separation from God, from my good, from love, from all that is meaningful. Because in learning how to heal that separation and doing that work and healing that, I can then extend that to the world. And what a profound mission to realize that we all have that ability to claim our good, to have our good. This is something that is very is a very earth shattering concept that God did not create victims. And especially when you look at the world nowadays, it's different to say, of course I have compassion, but I know that God did not create victims. I know that you can create that for your reality. And we create that through our beliefs and thoughts. So as long as we believe that that's possible, anywhere in our consciousness than it is possible to experience. That's why I dedicate myself to healing consciousness, to empowering myself, because you always have to begin with yourself. So I'm healing myself and my consciousness, uprooting everything that is not in alignment with my divinity, because that is what Twin Flames Universe, at its heart, at its core teaches, how to claim your divinity your full power and your full self, your full union with God, your creator. And from that incredible space, that is where you do a remarkable amount of good for the world. That is what I see very clearly is happening in Twin Flames universe. Excuse me. Jeff and Shlia in their, in their harmonious union have created an enormously powerful impact on the world. And one of the big lessons they're teaching is the power of standing up for your divinity and claiming your right to boundaries, to protect and to support your divinity, because that is your job to honor yourself, to love yourself, and to take care of yourself. 
And so I recognize that it is my responsibility to recognize that the reason I'm not in the community is not because I don't belong there. It's because I have healing to do to get there. And it's my personal responsibility to do that. And I, as someone who creates my reality, I recognize that that I created this for myself. And it's, it is a big thing to realize. The, the, the person that came to mind and I was, as I was contemplating this was, you know, when Jesus comes across a rich man and invites him to join him in changing the world with his mission. And the rich man becomes very sad because he had lots of very wonderful things and he decides to not go with Jesus. In the community, they call this little teddy bear versus big teddy bear because on the path to choosing God, same thing that the disciples of Jesus encountered. You may have to say no or give up things that once served you that no longer do. And it's because God has something far greater. And you talk to any disciple of Jesus, they will tell you that whatever they gave up to follow Jesus was incomparable to what they received by following Jesus. And likewise, if you talk to anyone following, truly following the work of Jeff and Shlia in the community, thriving, loving the world, and asking them if everything they had to let go to be there was worth it, they will tell you it was a million times over. You don't lose anything by loving yourself. And that is all that Twin Flames Universe truly teaches, to love and respect yourself and respect God and how God created you and life. And to do that with your whole heart and whole being. Same thing Jesus taught. It's just now the teaching has gone deeper. And so, yes, I, I appreciate this question very much because, yes, I do continue with my whole heart and my whole being growing more and more every day to share this message because it is my life purpose and it, there's nothing that comes close to the joy that comes with pursuing God, pursuing love and pursuing your twin flame. And I do have a responsibility because I understand twin flames as someone who has been with their twin flame for a very long time and studied twin flames now for a very long time. I know the reality of this concept and it does not serve me the concept of this reality. It does, I, I, I really can't pretend otherwise and it doesn't serve me to pretend otherwise. Now this doesn't mean I'm not open to other spiritual communities and other friendships. I am in the process of building and creating those as God guides, but this will always be primary for me by far, just as any disciple of Jesus gave everything and gladly to follow him and would do so again and again. This is my choice and this is who I am because I know how good it is, how good it is to love yourself, how good it is to claim all of the good things that God has for you and to do the healing work required to raise your vibration and to have those things and to enjoy those things and to share that knowing and that expansion with the world. There is nothing that comes even close to being with God. That is all that this journey is about. I have found God, his love, his being, and the teaching only ever brings me closer to that. And that is what I desire to share in these videos that all who desire it may have it. So I think that pretty much concludes this message. Thank you again to my friend for opening up this um, important discussion. I do love Jeff and Shlia and I do love Twin Flames Universe because I love God and God is so present in this community. I invite you to, if you haven't, check it out and find out for yourself, twinflamesuniverse.com. Thank you so much for watching. Much love, and I'll see you next time.